afternoon. Ah, uh, yes. Miss Peace, come in. Do you think you can do it? Oh, certainly. So now I can take an existing gun, make the modifications. It must be very light in weight, and it must have a short barrel. A short barrel. Yes, that's a pity. And lastly, there must be a silencer and, of course, a telescopic sight. Hmm. Over what range will you fire? I'm not sure yet, but probably not more than 400 feet. Will the gentleman be moving? Stationary. Will you go for a head shot or a chest shot? Probably head. And what about the chances of a second shot? I might get the chance, but I doubt it. In any event, I'll need a silencer to escape. In that case, you'd better have explosive bullets. Yes, I can prepare a handful for you along with the gun. Glycerine or mercury? Oh, mercury, I think. It's much cleaner. Isn't more comply? No, thank you. It seems, then, the gun must be carried past the customs without arousing suspicion. Recognize that. The whole thing should be composed of a series of hollow aluminium tubes which screw together. The top one holds the rifle strut, and the one below, the bolt with the breech inside it. Yeah, yes. The shoulder rest of the rifle doubles for both purposes without changing in any way. Yes, that's excellent. Yeah. And the last two sections house the telescopic sight and silencer. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, yes. It's very, very remarkable. It's so simple. I shall need the gun in about two weeks. Well, if you could meet me here, uh, <clears throat> August the 13th, then you could try out the gun and we could discuss last-minute details. Very well, August the 13th. Now, the question of your fee. Ah, yes. Well, uh, <clears throat> I'd have to ask a fee of 1,000 pounds uh, for this kind of a job, you see, and uh, say, well, another 100 pounds or 200 pounds for the raw materials. Done. I'll pay you half the fee now and the rest on delivery. <laughs>